What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and you guys have asked to see this video. I wasn't planning on making it this year, but here we are. It is the 2024 Joe Talks Wrestling room tour. I have done one of these either every year or pretty much every year since about 2017. I think I missed maybe 18 and 19, but since then I've been trying to keep it consistent to doing one a year. I wasn't sure I'm making one this year due to the channel not really being as big as it once was. However, this last month after WrestleMania, it's had a bit of a revival, I guess you can say. Uh, so I want to capitalise it. I want to give YouTube another shot and try and get out as much content as I can and ride this wave because I don't know when it's going to crash again and I want to try and make the most of it. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get right in to the 2024 Joe Talks Wrestling Room Tour. Here we go. And this is the room, ladies and gentlemen, as always, spinning round, starting off on the door. There's not really much that's changed here from last time. The same posters. It's just a door. Uh, moving on to the wall, the camera side wall, which you guys always see. This is a thumbnail collage. So is this. I was gifted these by my girlfriend and one of my really good friends for Christmas four years ago. That has flown by. Speaking of four years ago, the Thunderdome plaques. These were in October of 2020. I made these as a little way to commemorate my time in the Thunderdome for all the times that I spent in the Thunderdome. Big collages. I actually made a video how to make them. If you want to check it out, I will leave an annotation. Moving on, we got a picture here of El Jantonio, Arthur Scurro, Freddie Idol, Ash, Harrison Leon, and All Chill Charlie from my singles debut, May 13th, 2023. This photo here, you may recognize the man in the middle as the SmackDown general manager, Nick Aldis. This is from his training seminar that he did in May last year. There I am right there. It was a two-hour seminar. I learned a bunch. It was a fantastic time. We've then got some ticket stubs of my time when I went to WWE Live when I was a kid. There I am in my John Cena t-shirt from Raw World Tour 2010. And here I am in another John Cena t-shirt from the WrestleMania Revenge Tour 2011. We've got my letter here, or my note I should say, from when I left school from my form tutor, who is now a successful YouTuber and TikToker in his own right, Gwig Lit. Thank you for that once again. We've got these custom YouTube awards I made for myself because I am a massive, massive Joe Talks Wrestling mark. Uh, I made these um, as a bit of a self-pat on the back, but also I wanted to show you guys that you could make some really cool gifts for friends. Like my sister, for example, um, if she had a YouTube channel, I could have given her one of these as a present and I'm sure she would have really appreciated it. So if you, any of you or your friends have got people on YouTube with, you know, 100, 500, 1,000, 5,000, whatever subscribers, you can make them a custom award. I also made a video on that, so I'll leave an annotation to that as well. We got a poster here from the UBW Floor is Made of Lava 6 event on January 13th. There is El Jantonio on the poster right there. Moving down, we've got a big poster from my first ever show that I really made a proper appearance on. It was meant to be my singles debut. However, I was actually injured, so instead I just cut a promo on the show uh, but I was on the poster, so my first ever time featuring on a poster right there. Then we've got Wrestling in Stevenage, Stevenage Super Brawl. This was from February 17th this year. The first time I've really been like a prominent piece on a poster. Up there with the Square One champion, Harrison Leon. I was very, very grateful to be featured in such a prominent position. Moving down, I've like managed to keep these balloons that my girlfriend Ellie made me after my singles debut. Uh, I've got them framed. If I blew them up, it would... Uh, it would not look good because the uh, the pen on them has turned to dust. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, so I had to just take them and preserve them and hopefully they will stay that way. Once again, wrestling UBW Collision Course 24. There is El Jantonio on the poster. We got this JTW JA Wrestling Light Up board that doesn't actually work anymore, which is a shame. And I forgot to mention all the way up at the top, we've got my old tights and a list of every single Joe Anthony backyard match which is quite cool. And the new addition this year, we got this paint by numbers that my girlfriend got me for Christmas. She painted this herself. It's a picture of us. But once again, guys, she painted that. Absolutely insane. There's nothing really up there. It's just really dusty and it's a bunch of old jewellery and some random stuff. Don't look at that. Uh, then, yeah, we're moving on to my shelves. These are probably my favourite piece of my bedroom. 
We got my N64 games in their custom boxes. Custom spines on the vast majority of these guys. I really hate generic blank spines, so I've changed most of these. But we got GameCube. We got Nintendo Switch. 3DS, DS, a Duff Energy Drink, a Pokeball. This little rock that my niece Tilly painted me to look like a Nintendo Switch. I've kept this for ages, which is really cool. A custom El Jantonio Funko Pop that Ellie got me for Christmas a couple of years ago. It just fell. I better put it back. Down the next shelf, we've got my Undertaker 21 and 0 commemorative urn, as well as a custom Seth Rollins in Joe Anthony backyard attire that Ellie got me for Valentine's Day as well. We've got a Joe Talks Wrestling light board, and behind this, we've just got some miscellaneous games, some Rockstar ones, some wrestling ones, different consoles, just a massive mismatch there. Down onto the next shelf, I'll move the steel chair out of the way. This is my Harry Potter shelf. I'm a massive Harry Potter mark, so I've got first editions of all of the books. Not first prints, just first editions. We've got the Hogwarts Library set, the DVDs, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Uh, we've got a wand there, a chocolate frog card here, two wands here, a bunch of stuff from the Harry Potter Studios uh, in Leavesden, which I have been to twice. And then, yeah, next shelf down, we've got a bunch, bunch of DVDs. I don't really use these, but whenever Ellie and I go away, like on holiday... I always bring these because if we're staying in a caravan, then you don't really have good internet. So we bring DVDs uh, to, to watch on there instead. That way we don't have to rely on Netflix buffering 24 seven. Next shelf down once again, we got a bunch of wrestling books and uh, the Minecraft sacred texts down there. I don't really have the time to read anymore, but you know, they're there if I ever need them. We got my custom Money in the Bank briefcase I made back in 2017. One of the first few videos I made on the channel, I believe. Uh, yeah, I've got a video here of how to make your own one, but I don't really do anything with this now. It was based off the blue 2017 version that they only used once. So I should have really held off a year and made a custom green one, but it is what it is. Foam roller there. JTW World Heavyweight Championship. This is just a uh, fan do big gold. It's got some wear and tear on it from my days of using it as a backyard title, which I think is quite cool, really, because it shows that it's used, I guess. Uh, moving down now to the other side of my room, we've got this mini Joe that I was uh, thankfully gifted by Kip Clips after he used it in his video. Shout out to him for that. We've got some posters on the wall of just stuff that I like. An ocarina based on the Ocarina of Time from The Legend of Zelda. Uh, with the game named the Ocarina of Time, shock. My old CRT TV, I've used this for all of my old consoles, which you are about to see. We got my Nintendo 64, my PlayStation 1, my Super Nintendo, and my Nintendo Entertainment System. All of them sit here on this little, uh, like, Ikea Calyx, I think it is, with some custom dividers that I put in, and then I can play my old school games. We got some random protein bars, a bottle of Febreze, and then this is my main sort of setup, really. My TV uh, with my PS3 controller, we got a wireless charger there. My Xbox 360, my Wii, my PS3, PS2, GameCube, and then just a GameCube controller down there. I've also got my Switch dock on here, or I should say one of my Switch docks. I've got two TVs in my bedroom, so I've got two Switch docks, depending on which TV I want to play on. One uh, on the one by my bed, and then one here, so I am spoiled for choice as to where I want to play my Switch. Moving down, we got all my PS4 and PS5 games. I don't have many PS5, but I've basically got a whole shelf full of PS4 stuff. Um, I'm still collecting for this, not as, like... Not as much as I used to. Uh, I don't really have time to play games now. But if I see a game that I want, I will pick it up. It depends. There's the PS5 collection. Once again, it's not a lot. Down here, we just got some shoes. Um, another shoe box there. Some miscellaneous stuff. Moving back up, we've got my keyboard and mouse. On my desk, my PS4, the PS4 controller, my iPad. Um, over here, we got my PC and my bin. This PC is so old now. Uh, but it still gets the job done where I need it. My Switch case, my DS case, my wallet, my YouTube notebook in case I have any ideas. I've got my mini fridge, a bunch of aftershaves and deodorant. A cool El Jantonio custom coaster that I made when I went on holiday with Ellie this year. Uh, last year, sorry. Then my speakers, my monitor. And then moving up a new addition for this year, my new and improved Amiibo shelf. I'm a big Amiibo Nintendo mark. So I love collecting these things. I've managed to build up quite a collection here. And uh, I've got a three-tiered display for them. I've got some custom ones as well. Birdo, uh, Baby Mario and Luigi, Shadow Mario, Serial, Toadette, uh, the Red pa Koopa Paratrooper, all custom Amiibos. 
Uh, I don't really have time to do that much these days, but when I do, I definitely enjoy actually making some custom Amiibos. And of course, I cannot forget my favorite one, my custom Mi Brawler that is based off of my uh, Nintendo Mi, which is cool. Moving up a shelf, we've got a Link Amiibo. We've got a bunch of Minecraft Lego. My girlfriend's really, really into Minecraft bees. Uh, so I got her a set of Minecraft Lego, but she had nowhere to put it at her house. So it stays in my room instead. Here we've got a painting or a drawing by my niece, Tilly, of El Jantonio at the Floor is Lava this year. Uh, some PS3 games and then some of my Wii U games and Wii games. Of course, once again, with custom spines. I hate the generic text, so I've made myself some custom logoed spines for every single one of my games. They just look much more uniform and much more better that way. The JTW Intercontinental Championship, which is just a modified WWE replica. Uh, we've got my bin and then my actual my actual championship case right here but starting from the top we'll go my playstation 5 i've had this for a number of years now i got a little hard drive attached to it for all my ps4 games uh moving across we've got my triple wireless charger it charges my watch my uh my phone and my airpods my wii u gamepad my wii u some wiimotes moving down my replica belts on the left we've got the wwe championship 2014 version when we got the spinner right there moving down the united states championship scratch logo the ecw championship wwe version and then my custom daniel bryan eco-friendly belt which really sky rocketed this youtube channel moving across we got some of my really old el jantonio gear old boots old elbow pads old tights up next, my party show gear. Now, we do a lot of party shows for the promotion that I work for, meaning that they're non-recorded. Sometimes they are, and when they are, I will upload them as an unlisted video to my YouTube playlist of Pro Wrestling Journey. Uh, but nine times out of ten, they're not photographed. They're not videoed. They are just a private event, uh, so I don't have to wear my best gear. My old tights, which have only just become my old tights because I've now got some new ones. And this cool modified Rey Mysterio mask that I put the LJ logo onto. Once again, if these matches and like aren't really filmed and you know when they are, it's not from the best angles, I can get away with not having to waste or use up the uses of my proper mask. So hence Moving up to the next shelf, there is the proper El Jantonio mask. I designed this myself, I drew it myself, and then I collabed with Closet Champion Ophidian. He made the mask for me. It's a bit beaten up, it's got some uh, got some stains and some streaks on it now, but it's just it's just ring use, really. That's what happens. Uh, and then my new El Jantonio gear, it's basically the same. I've just modified the design a little bit it says uno dos three on the legs now and uh yeah that's that's my wrestling stuff right there all in these big ikea detolfs i've got one two two cabinets ikea detolfs right there they're fantastic for displaying championship belts and anything else really on the wall we've got my tv i really need a new one i've literally been saying it probably every room tour for the last couple years i'm desperate for a new tv but they're so expensive and uh I just have like funds that need to go elsewhere. So saving for a TV is uh, not at the top of my priority list. Here we've got my wardrobe. Obviously, it's April. Uh, so Imperium are on the WWE calendar, which my mum gets me every Christmas. is kind of a running gag now since I was a kid. Onto my bed, we've got my Snorlax pillow, a shell from Mario Kart pillow, and a donut pillow from The Simpsons at Universal Studios. I've got a double bed. Uh, the JTW Tag Team Championships are up there. Obviously, custom-made titles from my backyard days. Over here, we've got some stuff that's all my girlfriend. So this drawer and this drawer is my girlfriend's stuff, so I won't be diving into that. But we've got uh, Minecraft Ellie. So this was her skin from Minecraft. I got it custom-made um, as a little plush toy. Uh, I got it from someone on Etsy. I have her. She has me. Um, as we're long-distance in a long-distance relationship, it's cool to just have something like for both of us to share at our own houses i've got a mushroom that i won in a grabber machine and then a builder bear that ellie got me which is really cool uh down here we've got my training bag i was actually planning recently on making a video of potentially going through my bags uh to show you guys what's in them what i pack for pro wrestling training and then over here we've got my actual gear bag so this is what i would put my mask my tights everything in i got some proper boots here made by richard bishop same guy that makes triple h's boots or used to make triple H's boots, one of the best boot makers in the world. Uh, so he luckily, he made my boots for me. If you're interested in seeing a video of me going through my actual show gear bag and my training bag, let me know. I might do it separately. We will just have to wait and see. 
This chest of drawers here is home to my uh, PlayStation headset right now. We've got my PlayStation 5 controllers and then my second Switch dock with my Nintendo Switch in. I've got an HDMI running all the way along the floor up the wall to the TV so that if I ever want to play my Switch in bed, I can. Over here, once again, we've got my, uh, my Joy-Con grip, my Amazon Echo, a photo collage of Ellie and I. The YouTube promo championship from 2019 uh, really got my backyard career kick-started with that. Uh, so thank you, Kip Clips, once again for hosting that promo competition. A big JTW wrestling, backyard wrestling collage, uh, which has moved around this room so many times. I don't ever want to get rid of it, but it's one of them things that if I need space for something else, this is the first thing that moves. I got a custom Deku shield from the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time I made like five years ago. A couple of kickboxing certificates from when I used to do that. I had to give it up due to work, which is annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. And then we've got the window outside. There is the old JTW battleground. Uh, no trampoline anymore, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, it's just it's just a normal garden now. But uh, <laughs> the neighbours know. The neighbours know exactly what kind of wars used to occur out there. Tables being broken. Still chairs being swung. Uh, it was definitely a unique time in my life and I wouldn't be where I'm at in the pro world without my backyard days. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. I'll give you a shot over here. Uh, my chair, I had to just move out the way and walk around it. I do have a very big room, which I'm very fortunate to have. Um, but yeah, it's basically in two halves. I've got the bedside and then the working like gaming desk side, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's basically that. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my 2024 Joe Talks Wrestling Room Tour. Let me know if your thoughts in the comments section down below. I try and do these at least once a year. Really try and get them in. And it's one of them things that I myself just like to see how my room has changed and evolved in that year. Uh, I know I'm a bit late on it this year. I did ask if you guys wanted it. I wasn't going to do it at all, really. Uh, but a few of you actually voted on the poll and said that you did want to see a room tour. So I hope I have satisfied. Anyway, guys, until next year, that was my bedroom. I've been Joe from Joe Toss Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.